going to be cooking up a nice simple pasta dish today. Then what we're going to do with this pasta dish is serve it up with some homemade tomato sauce, chopped up boiled eggs and some chorizo. Finish it off, a little bit of oregano and also some parmesan cheese. Absolutely delicious recipe and I think you'll really enjoy it. So what I'm going to do is go through the ingredients and get on with the cooking. So just to go through the ingredients, first of all I've got my pasta. I've got 500 grams of pasta. Going to put that in a pan of boiling water, a little bit of salt. Now mine I'm going to cook for about 10 minutes but read the instructions and see how long your pasta takes to cook. Then I'm going to get myself a pan, a little bit of olive oil and a couple of cloves of garlic. Slice the cloves of garlic down just to get some really nice flavours in there. And then we're going to pour in the can of tomatoes, a little bit of salt and some sugar. Now I put sugar in my tomato sauce just to sweeten it down a little bit because I often find these canned tomatoes a little bit sort of bitter. So a little bit of sugar in mine but do that to taste. Then we've got the chorizo. Now the chorizo is a really delicious Spanish sausage, got a bit of garlic and paprika in there. So we're going to get a pan, frying pan, put a little bit of olive oil again, slice down this chorizo and you get some beautiful colours and flavours in that oil and it just makes the chorizo taste extra special. Then I've got three eggs, just going to boil those and we're going to chop those down, serve them up with the pasta, bit of oregano and then we've just got some parm ham cheese so you know just add it all together and you get a really delicious pasta now also in the background there i've got some fresh basil now the reason i've got that there is because sometimes when i'm making up me sort of you know tomato sauce i add some fresh leaves of basil or alternatively you can buy basil in like a tube and just squirt a little bit in and it just makes your sort of tomato sauce basley flavour and it's really simple to do and it's delicious. So there's all the ingredients. Now what I'm going to first of all do is to get on with the tomato sauce because that's going to take the longest. Once we've got it cooking the tomato sauce is going to take about 20-30 minutes. So get on with that first. So let's go over to the hob, get on with the cooking. So we're going to get on and make this tomato sauce so let's just switch the heat on. Now what I would say is you don't want to do this on too high heat so you know fairly low I would say. Get me olive oil and let's put a little bit in the pan there. And then to be honest we can go straight in with the, the garlic. And what I would say is just give the garlic like a minute or so. Don't let it burn because otherwise it gets a bit bitter. So once it's starting to get just a little bit of colour, a little bit golden brown almost, then you can pour straight in with a can of tomatoes. So leave that to warm up and get those garlic pieces cooking. So I've got my garlic in there, just give it a move around and see so we're already starting to get a bit of colour on there so you don't need to get too much colour otherwise it will go bitter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in the can of tomatoes. Sometimes you get a little bit of the tomato left in the can so I'll just put a bit of water in there, add that. Now I'm also going to add just a little bit of salt. Now as I say, I'm also going to use sugar in mine, but you know, you could taste yours first, let it cook for five or 10 minutes and then add the sugar, but I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. Now let's give that a stir up. Now just for a short while, I'm going to turn the heat up just to kind of get it cooking away. So, you know, get it bubbling. Once it's sort of bubbling away, you can always turn the heat down a little bit on a fairly low heat because what you don't want to do again is to burn it all at the bottom which will happen if you've got the heat too high. Now I've got mine bubbling away so give it the occasional stir and I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit. Now what I'd say is you want it on about a simmer maybe just below really. To let that simmer away I would say if you can wait do it for about half an hour. So now I've got the tomato sauce cooking away as I say about half an hour I've got me three eggs at the back there in a pan of cold water and what we're going to do is switch the heat on. Now what you want to do is just, you know, bring the water up to temperature and then leave it on a simmer for about eight minutes, maybe ten minutes at the most. Once they've sort of had their time, put them under cold water and then peel them and then you can, you know, chop them up later on, add them on the pasta. So very straightforward, eight minutes, ten minutes at the most for the eggs. Now I've been cooking for about 15 minutes in total with this tomato sauce so give it a stir 
and it's a good time to just try a little bit. Hmm, nice. Now what I will do is I'll just take this little bit out here because it's not, not a great bit. Take that. So leave that cooking away. That will thicken up slightly. Now with the eggs, they've been cooking for nearly 10 minutes on a very gentle sort of simmer. So I'm gonna take those off, put them under cold water, and then we're gonna get on with the pasta. So the next thing I'm gonna get on with is the uh, pasta. So let that come to a boil, add a little bit of salt, and then pour in all that sort of pasta. Now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of salt into the pan there, and then we're gonna tip the pasta in. Now my pasta takes about 10 minutes, so put that in, and if you can, give it a quick stir. Now we're into the last five minutes of cooking the pasta. Now, the frying pan there, I'm just gonna warm it up, put a little bit of olive oil. I mean, if you haven't got olive oil, don't worry, just use any oil you've got. Let that warm up a little bit, and then we're gonna put in that chorizo. Now we don't need very much oil because chorizo is quite fatty anyway. Just gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Try and separate a little bit. Get it all coated with that oil. And just really kind of toss this around and get a little bit of color on both sides. The thing about chorizo is you can eat it as it is anyway. So, you know, you don't need to cook it, but I think it gives a really beautiful flavor when you do. Again, give it all a toss around. Oh, that chorizo is beautiful. The smells, oh, wonderful. Look at that, lovely. And again, give this a quick stir around. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. And try a bit of your pasta, because that's the important bit at this point, is the pasta. Try it. Hmm. Not quite there, but I think just another minute would be perfect. So let's just turn it all off. Ah, lovely. Lovely smells in this kitchen. Now with the pasta, I'm gonna tip that into a colander. So I've got a little sort of sieve colander. And after that, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter into it. So let's take it away, pour all the sort of water away. view. Now obviously you could use a little bit of olive oil, but I'm using a bit of butter. Give it a lovely flavour. Give it a swoosh around. Oh. Mm. I think that's ready to serve up now. So let's go over to the table and serve it all up. Now I'm just going to start off with some of that pasta. We've already made sure that the pasta's nice. I think I'll have a little bit more there. Oh, look at that. Then I think next of all, if I grab myself one of those eggs we cooked earlier, just sort of slice that up. And if you want, you can have a little bit more. Oops. Let's get some of that really lovely chorizo on there. And then we've got this really nice tomato sauce. Look at that, beautiful homemade tomato sauce. As I say, you can add basil into it if you want, and just really put it over the top. Let's get some of this oregano, 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 however you want to say it. Just kind of lightly sprinkle that on top. I mean, obviously you could put black pepper on there if you like. Now I've got some of those juices that we put the chorizo in, because they get that beautiful flavor. Oh yeah. 
This is going to be good. Next of all, I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese on there. Beautiful. Whoa. Now all that's left to do, of course, is try it. Now let's just try some of this. I think we need a bit of everything really. Try and get that on there. A bit of trevo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that is so, so good. Mm. You can't go wrong with this. It's so simple, so homemade, and so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely lovely. Let's say, if you haven't got chorizo, you could use bacon. Try and get the tomato sauce just to how you like it, because if you've got kids, they quite often like a little bit more sugar in there to sweeten it up a little bit, but ah, beautiful. That is a really nice meal. Hmm. And you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching my videos. Hope to see you again soon. All the best, the original Naked Chef.